I'm just getting into FPV. Should I save up and go digital or start with analog? That's a tough one. Like, um, most people who go digital are very happy with digital and have no desire to go back to analog. Uh, they just are like, oh, analog looks like shit. Why would I do that? Um, so I think that, like, there's reasons why you would say, no, you should go analog. People would make that argument. But I think that most people are going to be most happy if they just go digital if they possibly can. And which digital system should you get? That's a question for another day. But, like, the majority of people I know who have switched from analog to digital stay with digital and aren't interested in going back. The exception to that might be racers. So racers want very low latency. They want lightweight video transmitters. They want durable and inexpensive stuff so that they can build a lot of birds to take to races and beat the shit out of it and break it. Um, for racers, HD0 is really the, I'm not going to say the only digital system worth considering, but because there are people who race on Walksnail and DJI, I'm not saying you can't do it, but Walksnail and DJI are not first and foremost for racing, and there are complications with integrating them into a race, and uh, HD0 is made to be good at racing. So it's a digital HD system that's made to be good with racing. And there was a time in maybe the 2022, I have, what was the year when Evan Turner first raced HD0 at Nationals? And it was like a big deal, right? I think it was either 2021 or maybe 2022. I'm not sure the exact year. I would guess 2021 if I had to guess. And um, in the chat, if you can tell me in the chat, we'll see if I'm right. If I was forced to put down a number, I'd say 2021. Um, and th uh, there was a movement of a lot of racers using HD0, and there's certainly advantages to HD0. In, in the best case, the latency of HD0 is lower than almost all analog cameras. Not all, but almost all. So it's very low latency. It's higher image quality. So as you're sort of lining up gates and so forth, you can see better. And people firmly believe that HD0 has a competitive advantage. But I've seen in the last few years, last year or two, that some of those racers who were racing on HD0 have gone back to analog. And I, it's, it's, it'd be interesting to wonder why. Um, I'm not going to actually weigh in on that because I don't feel like I actually know. Uh, but uh, e I say, even for racers, my point is this, even for racers, some of the top racers are racing on analog even though they could race on HD0 if they wanted to, and some of them did race on HD0 for a couple of years and then switch back to analog. So uh, what I would say is if you're a freestyle pilot or just a fun cruiser, then a digital is probably the way to go, DJI or walk snail. That's what most people, I think, will settle on given the time. And if you want to just skip to the end of the story, that's probably what you should do. For long range or racing, you should consider analog and maybe HD0 for racing. That's how I would sort of sum it up. Chris Croft says the HD0 Nano 90 is best for racing. Well, I agree with you, Chris Croft, and I know why you say that, but it does make you wonder, and I'm not going to name names uh, because I don't want to call anybody out or put anybody on the spot. It does make you wonder, though, why some of the top racers who were racing on HD0 three years ago, two years ago maybe, now are racing on analog. And it has to be, it, it, it isn't that they couldn't afford HD0. Because <laughs> like, if you're a top racer, you know HD0 will just sponsor you whatever you want, or you just have the budget to buy it. If you think it gives you a competitive advantage, you're just going to do it. So there had to have been a reason why they decided to go back to analog. And it's not the video quality, because the video quality is very good. So what was it? I don't know. And it would be irresponsible of me to speculate. But we have to acknowledge that that happened. Professor Biohazard suggests that it's durability. If I had to guess, it would be durability, but it would be irresponsible of me to like, okay, right now we're just playing with semantics. If I had to guess, it would be durability. Um, the the HD0 has done a lot to increase the durability of the race VTX, but it's hard to make it something like that as durable as just a nice little sort of bulletproof analog VTX that is going to take the hits. That's my theory, but I don't know. <laughs> 